Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is month two, looking at operations and relations of sets. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is surjection in set theory. Now, surjection is a property of a function. Surjective functions are fairly simple compared to the other ones we've looked at. These are functions where the second class is identical to the range. So the class that it's mapped onto or into or of is identical to the range, i.e. every member is used. In other words, if a function f is surjective from a onto b, then b is just the range of f. All of the members of b are paired with at least one member of a. You'll note that this is interestingly counterposed with injection where all the members of b are posed with at most, are, are paired with at most one member of a, leaving bijection to be they're paired with exactly one member of a. So surjection says all the members of B are paired with at least one member of A. Injection says at most one member of A. Bijection says exactly one member of A. So unlike injective and bijective functions, surjective functions can map multiple members of the domain onto the same member of the range, but cannot map multiple members of the range onto the same domain as they're still functions. Unlike injective functions, they must use all members of the second class, i.e. the second class must be identical to the range of the function. The function has the biological mother of, is, has the bio, biological mother, so x has the biological mother of y, is surjective from the class of all people, all people have the biological mother of, onto the class of all biological mothers. Every member of the second class, biological mothers, has some member in the first class which it matches. However, some members of the first class may share a mother, making this non-injective, but still surjective, because every member of the second class is used, i.e. the second class is the range. Here are some examples to illustrate. We can broadly divide functions into four groups. They can either be injective or non-injective. They can either be surjective or non-surjective. All functions that are injective and surjective together are bijective. So these are functions where every member of the range is, or every member of the second class is used, or the second class is the range, and every member of the range is paired with exactly one member of the domain, and being a function, every member of the domain is paired with exactly one member of the range. For functions that are injective but non-surjective, that means that not all members of the second class are paired, but all members of the domain match only one element. So at most, each member of the range matches at most one member of the domain in this case. It can match zero or it can match one, but it can't match two. Non-injective and surjective functions have the opposite situation where all members of the second class are paired, but some members of the domain match with the same members of that range. So surjective functions are those where all of the members of the range can match with one or more members of the domain. Non-injective versions have at least one member of the range that matches with multiple members of the domain. In this case, seven matches with three and four. And functions that are both non-surjective and non-injective have members of the second class that are unused, so the range is not identical to the second class, and they have members of the range which map onto more than one member of the domain. Those are functions which are neither surjective nor injective. And finally, we of course have things that are not functions. These are situations where members of the domain map onto multiple members of the range. We talked about those in our video on functions, if you want more info. But with that, formally, we might define the tripartite relation SFAB as a three-part relation of F is surjective from A to B as follows. For all functions F and all classes A and B, F is surjective from A to B means by definition that a is the domain of F and B is the range of F. We'll call this surjection definition in proofs. If you want a challenge, we're not going to do it here, but if you want a challenge, go and prove that for all functions, if a function is surjective and injective, it must be bijective using the definitions we have here. We're not gonna do a proof video on this, but leave your answer in the comments. I'd love to see how you do it.
Up next, we're going to be looking at equivalence, the property equivalence of relations, as well as a little bit on reflexivity, symmetry, and transitivity. In the next video, in set theory and how that is used, watch a new video every single day for the whole month of October with six months of set theory and carnades.org. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you like this content and you want to see more. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.